Now let's talk about uh, our favourite Premier down in uh, Rita's home state, Daniel Andrews, and this ambulance report, which yet again, here we go, more situations where what uh, Dan Andrews has told us about uh, events doesn't seem to necessarily gel with what other people have told about the same events, Rita. Well, this is a story that's not going to go away. Michael Warner had this on the front page again in the Herald Sun. And this bombshell report, astonishing. So it, it says that the car that hit this poor teenager on his bike was travelling between 40 and 60 kilometres when Dan and Catherine Andrews told us their car was stopped and this bike T-boned them. <laughs> Yet there's a massive... Uh, Dent, not dent, the, the windshield is caved in. So how is this a T-bone? I mean, you look at the car, you look at the, the evidence from the, from the ambos, and you look at the injuries this poor kid sustained, and it does not make sense. And also doesn't make sense how nobody was breathalyzed. And we now have two versions of events. At the time, we were told, well, there was a mistake. One officer thought the other one had breathalyzed and the other one thought that one and it got missed. But now, according to some of these reports, they decided, well, yeah, nobody looked drunk, so we're not going to breathalyze. So, again, what precisely happened? Then you bring in the entire angle of the labour-aligned law firms like Slater and Gordon. I won't go into that angle of the story too much, but we'll, I think we'll be hearing a lot more about that mm. as well. So this family deserves clarity. They deserve to get access to all the documents, all the evidence. And I think the Victorian people also deserve clarity about this. This is not something that you can just brush off. But... Just one last point. Despite the bombshell report, the, despite the fact that so much of what we've been told is now being disputed, most of the Victorian media seem rather uninterested. And the Victorian public, it always astonishes me. I, I just don't understand. No, I think Many the Victorian people, public... Are they waking up to this well, story? The Victorian public have got a media that is largely on the Dan Andrews bandwagon, They've got an opposition that is so thoroughly hopeless that you, they don't even earn the op name of opposition. <laughs> so when you don't give people a choice, what do you expect? Yeah, that's true. Um, I, I, your line about uh, they didn't breathalyse because nobody looked drunk, isn't that the point of breathalysers? <laughs> <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't that the whole point?